All right, today we're going to continue our study of intervals using the three note per string scale patterns that um, you should already have down. If you don't have those memorized, just go to guitarlessons365.com and uh, check out the advanced lessons archive and you'll see a printout and a video that you can watch for free. Um, and just download the printout and memorize these shapes. And we're going through all of our intervals, uh, our diatonic intervals, through these uh, three note per string shapes. So we're going to have seven shapes. So let's get started again. Once again, we're going to do this all in F major, starting with the shape built off the root, off of here in the F on the sixth string. And these fifths got a lot of rolls, just like fourths. It's basically an inverted fourth. So you're going to have a lot of rolling going on um, with these guys. And uh, some a little bit of string skipping as well. Uh, remember, we can just do this with alter picking down up or up down, reverse it. And you may also want to try it with hybrid picking, basically picking with a pick on the, uh, the low note and then your middle finger on the other one. And that really helps as we get into some string skipping and the intervals get larger. It's easier to actually hybrid pick them than it is to uh, alternate pick them. Let's see, so here we go. We're going to start with the shade built from the root in F major. And here are my fingerings for this. Remember, just write the fingerings in in the PDF and then um, practice it that way. So make sure you download this PDF at this site uh, before watching this video because this is going to go by probably too fast otherwise. All right, so here we go. I do a pre-roll here. Now this should be a pre-roll here with the pinky. Reach over with your second finger here, so that's kind of a stretch. Five to two on the fourth string. Pre-roll. Pre-roll. And the rolls will go in reverse order. So anything that was a pre-roll, when you're going backwards, descending in the fifths, it'll be a regular roll. Like that right there. Get to the shape bow from the second off of G. And then once again, you start, you descend with that, keeping the same fingerings, and that will turn your revert, your pre-rolls, where you're already set up with the roll, act like the roll's already executed, then you roll all over onto the lower string, um, it will reverse that and just be a normal roll where it's set up normal on your fingertip and you collapse that joint to create the roll. Let's go up to the shape built from the third. So I'm just gonna do these ascending since they're all the same going down. But on the PDF, it'll have everything ascending and descending. Pre-roll. 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 I'm sorry. Do that pre-roll right here with the second finger. Now we have a little stretch here from eight to six between the second and third finger. And usually you don't want all big stretches between the second and third finger, but for what's coming at before and after it, it kind of makes the most sense. So it's not that big of a stretch, it's just two frets. So. Pre-roll, pre-roll. All right, 
Now, so that was a shade bill from the third. We're up to the shade bill from the fourth off of B flat now. Now I'm just gonna let you watch the video. Uh, I think you understand I'm doing lots of pre-rolls. So uh, just so it doesn't get annoying hearing myself talk, I'm just gonna let you see what's going on. So here we go with shape built from the fourth. and then you would start that descending. Okay, shape built from the fifth off of C. Now continuing, we have this shape built off the sixth, off of D. And ending the fifth interval patterns, we will do it with the shape built off the seventh off of E in F major. Okay, so that's all the fifth patterns. And if you're still asking yourself, why do I need to practice all this stuff? And why are we doing all these intervals, these diatonic intervals? Well, if, like we talked about before, if you just think about when you're improvising, you're used to playing lots of scales and, and probably playing them straight up and down, but you want the ability to break that up. Have your playing be more melodic in certain areas and, and more unpredictable. And it gets a lot more fun when you can mix up straight scale playing. You can still do that with intervallic skips. And just after you practice all these patterns for the diatonic thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and sevenths, we have the sixths and sevenths coming, um, that will really kind of free you to be able to just create these really cool lines where you can combine all these different intervals with scale passages, and your playing will be. Um, a lot more sophisticated sounding and probably a lot more pleasing to you um, so because you can find interesting stuff every time you pick up the guitar all right so get these down we're going to have six coming next so please go to guitarlessons365.com and support the site and i will um, see you guys there appreciate it bye bye